Now, so prepare for a rough commute. You can see how wet and rainy it has been this morning with rain in the North Sound and South Sound. Standing water could become an issue this morning. Yeah, that's what it looked like overnight while you were sleeping and troopers cleaned up this mess in Tacoma after a semi truck crashed into a barrier on I-5. No one was hurt and looking live outside Tacoma and Everett. Gusty winds also picking up in the North Sound right now. It could bring down some branches and some leaves, so watch for that. Also watch for urban flooding. So we've seen the rain let up over the last couple of hours, but more rain is on the way on this first alert weather day. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mimi Jung. I'm Jake Wittenberg. Hope you had a good weekend with a wet start to the work week. Now slick roads prompting our first alert weather day with team coverage ahead this morning. We've got a crew in uh, Pierce County tracking those power outages. Drew Andre is up in Snohomish County. Rich is tracking the forecast, of course, but first, Shante, let's check in with you. The road's looking awfully dicey in some spots. Yeah, some of you will be dealing with some ponding on the roads. It really just depends on where you are. This is a look out near Highway 18 and I-90 because there are reports that Highway 18 is blocked in both directions, but I wanted to show you this camera because typically you see uh, someone blocking the ramp. So I'm still working to get confirmation, but you can see on the map purple in both directions. We had a crash on Highway 18 westbound being reported just before Issaquah Hobart Road with a right lane blocked. I'm also starting to see a backup grow on Issaquah Hobart Road northbound. So that's something to watch out for. And you can see several incidents here on the map. We'll talk more about them in just a few moments. And we've seen the uh, cold front move through uh, a couple hours ago, accompanied by some very strong gusty winds. We saw wind gusts in the 35 to 45 mile per hour range, undoubtedly the source of a lot of those power outages we've seen. You see things are getting a little bit of a break and drying out. Still the remains of one little band to the north kind of pushing its way past I five, the I-5 quarter there. But overall, everybody drying and then turning more off and on showers, allowing some of that water to drain off around much of the area. And see some clearing even kind of showing up there in the uh, Bellingham area. And overall, things getting a chance to dry just a little bit. We're looking at the first alert weather day, primarily this morning, those power outages and the gusty winds. Rivers are rising, not expecting widespread flooding, but you might see some overtopping, especially on some of the lower elevation creeks, basically up and down Puget Sound and the foothills of the Cascades and Olympics. Another system headed away tonight and tomorrow, much weaker than the one that just moved through. We'll talk about that coming up. Thank you very much, Rich. Let's get to Snohomish County right now where there are some dark clouds behind yeah. you, Andre. Yeah, let's get to Drew. Look at this video here now this morning. Uh, Drew, pretty ominous there behind you. Give us an update on what commuters can expect there. Well, that's right. Well, we've been just keeping an eye on this. As you can see, it looks like it's coming for us right now, though. No rain. The rain stopped here around 430 this morning. So as we take a look at the roads, you can tell look how much it's already dried up. <laughs> Some of this really strong wind that we're seeing these gusts might be helping with that, too. But the roadways are looking good comparing this to just a few hours ago where we were seeing some minor standing water here and there. Things are looking pretty good, at least at this area of Everett where we are. We're not seeing any traffic backups, so that's helpful. But we'll also just looking at that sky there. Wow, you can see this potentially could be coming for us here. But right now things are looking in the clear here. Um, no rain and no traffic, but these wind gusts continue to, to pick up. So we'll be keeping a close eye on this throughout the morning. For now, reporting live in Everett, Drew Andre, King 5 News. Thanks very much, Drew. Looks like the rain has let up also in Pierce County as our photojournalist Doug Dillon has been driving through the streets of Spanaway. But right there at that intersection, you can see the lights are out. So Doug treating that as a four way stop as he continues driving down uh, some of these more rural roads. But yes, a significant power outage happening in Pierce County this morning as we have been reporting. We'll keep letting you know what the road conditions are like as you start your day.